Hello, thank you for joining me once again on the Basic Academy. On today's video tutorial, I shall be showing you how to estimate the hardware model when there is no co-integration using eViews. Essentially, what I'll be showing you is estimating short-run hardware model when there is no co-integration using eViews, which is basically what is called first differenced ARDL. Okay. Now moving down to this PowerPoint here, we said there are three options of decision-making criteria when dealing with bounds test. The first is if the calculated F statistics is greater than the asymptotic critical value bounds for the upper bound, which is I1, then one can conclude that there is co-integration, that is, there is long-run relationship. However, if the calculated F statistic falls below the theoretical critical value for the lower bound, which is I0, then one concludes that there is no co-integration, hence, no long-run relationship. And finally, the test is considered inconclusive if the F statistic falls between the lower bound, which is I0, and the upper bound, which is I1. Okay, basically these are the three decision criteria or three options when dealing with bound test, essentially. So I'll be going straight to eViews to show you how it can be illustrated using the result we shall be generating. Okay. Now, moving down to eViews here, we'll have our eViews page here. We'll have our data range from 1981 to 2018, giving us that eight observations. Then we'll have several variables here. We'll have M2, MCU, MAC, PLR. Okay, essentially, I'll be using M MCU as our dependent variable in this particular model. Okay, so what we need to do is to go to quick to estimate the ARDL model. Then from there, we'll estimate balance test to see if there is integration relationship or not. So for us to do, I'll simply go to quick select estimate equation dependent variable here is mcu so i'll type mcu first space c space m2 which are the independent variables we we'll have msc and finally we'll have plr okay we we'll have three independent variables and one dependent variable so on that method here i'll be selecting ardl i'll scroll down and select ardl okay we we'll have so i'll leave everything as default the maximum lags for dependent variable i'll leave it at four and um, for independent variable, also I'll leave it at four. So I'll allow the system to use its own recommended lags for me. Okay, so basically I'll click OK. We'll have a result here. So now from this ARD, we'll check whether we we'll have a long run relationship or not using the bounce test. What we we'll need to do is to click View. Okay, scroll down to uh, Coefficient Diagonistics, then select Long Run Form and Bounce Test. Look at it here. Okay, clicking it will have a result. Simply scroll down to see your bounce test result. Okay, let me expand this. Yes, here is our bounce test result here. Look at the F statistic value here, which is 1.743062, as you can see here. Now, looking at this F statistic here, you can see that it's lower than the lower bound, which is 2.79 at 5%, as well as the upper bound, which is 3.67. What it clearly shows here is that there is no long run relationship amongst these variables here, as you can see. Why? Because the F statistic here is lower than the lower bound and the upper bound, at least at 5% level of significance. In fact, looking at all the level of significance here, whether at 10%, 5%, 2.5%, 1%, they are all higher than that of the F statistic value as you have here. And also the upper bound are also higher, as you can see. So this clearly shows us there's no long run relationship amongst the variables. So from here, we cannot be able to estimate our ECM or long run results. So what we need to do is to estimate a first difference ARDL, okay? Which means there is no um, co-integrated relationship amongst our variables. So for us to estimate um, uh, a first difference ARDL, what we need to do is to go back to our equation again, click estimate, okay? From this our model specification here, we'll simply add D to each of these variables, okay? Simply add D to each of these variables here. Adding D simply tells us we are differencing each of the variables in our model, meaning all the variables here will now become a short-run variables. As you can see, we have DD attached to each of them, which is showing us that this D represents first difference operators, okay? as you can see here, which means this is a short-run model only for ARDL. So remember, I'll leave my dependent variable, my maximum lag to be 4, regressors to also be 4 as default. Then I'll simply click OK. Now, once you click OK, you have your 
short run result, which is a first difference ARDL. So this is how to estimate a first difference ARDL when there is no long run relationship in your result, as you can see here. So this is a first difference ARDL. So this is the result you are supposed to report once you find out there is no long run relationship amongst your model. Okay, using bounce test. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the final result, essentially. Okay, essentially this is how to estimate a short run ARDL model when there is no bound um, long run relationship amongst the variables. Okay, essentially is how to estimate a first different ARDL model when there is no long run relationship amongst the variable using bounce test. Okay, all right, all right. This if this is the first time of coming to our channel to watch our video, can you click the subscribe button to get more video updates? Okay, and thank you for listening and also watching.